What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody is having a blessed day today. Today, as I told y'all yesterday on my vlog, if y'all checked it out, I will be doing a cleansed on feet of the Air Jordan 1 Rookie of the Year, one of the best Jordan 1s to release this year, in my humble opinion, of course. Um, hope everybody having a good one, man. Let's go ahead and get into these shoes real quick because I'm excited to go out there and show y'all these things on feet. I went ahead and took the liberty of doing a red lace in one and I did the black lace in one. I prefer the red because it gives it that bow factor, that extra little, you know what I'm saying? I mean, something about these this tan color and this, uh, in this cell color. But you gotta have that, you gotta have something to give it that bow. That's just my humble opinion. Some people prefer the black, and I know I read the comments, some people do prefer the black. But that's what's good about the game, man. We all have our different preferences. You feel me? Um, the shoes, the official name, of course, is Air Jordan 1 OG High. The official colorway is Golden Harvest, Black, and Sale, and they retail for $160. These sneakers released this weekend, November. 17th, I believe that's what it is. Um, <clears throat> so y'all comment below and tell me if y'all going after these, man. Uh, I went ahead and laced the shoes up, as y'all all know. Lacing shoes, it's just, it take about five or ten minutes. But, um, I don't know, do y'all prefer lacing your shoes? I mean, when they first start bringing these Jordan 1s back out like the OG and they be unlaced like that, do y'all prefer lacing them your own way or do you prefer them to be a lace star already and you just loosen them up and throw them on feet? Y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about that. Hey, I already did this on the unboxing, but hey, gotta do it. Hey, bow! Air Jordan 1 OG High Rookie of the Year. <clears throat> Very dope in my humble opinion. Dope sneaker. I'm just going to go through it real quick for the people who didn't see the unboxing. The shoe has very good leather quality on the side. We're starting to hit y'all with that tumble on everything now. Just like the um, the court purples and the uh, pine greens that came out. Just like the uh, bread toes. We're getting that seal tumble. They must got a lot of that seal tumble in the factory going on at our uh, Jordan brand. Um, but like I said, got the seal. Got the tan, almost Timberland boot kind of new buck going on right here and across the front you know you see it you see it you got the black air jordan logo right there um you got the sail tongue comes up to the top and you got your uh patch your leather kind of leather patch with that red metallic kind of dark red i love that color red on um sneakers uh on a nike air and they have the black bottoms going on that's pretty much this shoe jordan ones are pretty simple the inside has that uh nike air in the um, in black with the tan background i'm not really a big fan of this golden harvest tan color i got the sixes that came out last year i didn't get the jordan ones i was really not a fan of the all week jordan one i just didn't it gotta have something else going on with the shoe to make it just give it that that that, that good clean look to me just all one color even the outsole like they could at least did the outsole a uh, different color i don't know black no, nah, not black. I don't know, but it's just, it was too much, it was too much uh, wheat going on in that sneaker, in my humble opinion. But, <clears throat> other than that, y'all already know the shoe has the um, accolades of his rookie of the year season. His stats are on this side. Right here, you got his stats. 84-85 uh, rookie of the year. You got his points, and points per game, man. And on this side, y'all, I like I said, I showed this some of this stuff on the unboxing. What the part of his speech, what he said, um, when he won the rookie of the year, man, he would put up them numbers. This is what is nice, but it just I just feel that it's very important for each individual to go out and contribute to his team straight from the words of the GOAT himself. MJ, don't at me. He's the GOAT, man. You feel me? Anyway, um, I got these to stick out. At first, they were just like kind of staying to the side. But if you want that look, I actually like that look. It's just different for this sneaker, these Jordan ones. I went ahead, and I'm going to show you what I did. And you're going to think you're tearing your shoes up when you do it. But what I did was I just folded this back. I rolled it up, actually. I rolled it up like that. You see how I rolled it up? And I just squeezed it just a little bit. And that allowed the, the flap to stay out wide right there. Um, if you don't do that, it's going to kind of stay pressed up to the shoe. And get just keep the little classic uh, Jordan 1 look. Like I said, I'm just I'm rolling back his accolades right there 
You know what I'm saying? And I'm squeezing it a little bit, and it just and then you just straighten it up with your hand, and it make the, it make the uh, flap stick out, give it that off white kind of, you know, just a different look to the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Dunks kind of have that flap loose right there, and I just I just want to do that for the own feet with the red laces, have the flaps out on the side, and give y'all that look of the shoe. So that's enough talking about the shoe. Y'all know what it look like. Y'all know what to expect. Y'all come below and tell me if y'all going after these things this weekend. And let me go ahead and get y'all that on feet. So I know y'all want to see that on feet. I know y'all want to see it, man. The on feet ain't dead, man. They ain't dead. So let me let y'all go ahead and check these things out on feet, man. Do it! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Air Jordan 1 Rookie of the Year on feet, man. On feet, man. What y'all think? What y'all think of the shoes? Comment below and let me know. Clank, clank. Cleansed. Stamp of approval. You know they get it. Jordan ones on deck like a chick. You feel me? Um, these are dope though, man. I'm really digging them. Like I said, not even a big fan of the tan colorway, but against this cell and against the um, against the little small hit of red, they got the black. They just did, they executed this colorway very correctly, in my humble opinion, man. Y'all come below and tell me what y'all think of these things. Little booty, booty in the shot. Some ass action and some walk away with. Yes, sir. Gotta hit you with the walk away. It's a pretty Sunday out here, man. It's beautiful outside today, bro. I love when it's pretty like this outside. It ain't too, ain't too cold, ain't too hot. It's a perfect day for our own feet. You feel me? Got to cross them up. Just a little slight cross on them. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, man, that's these on feet. I think I'm going to go with some um, just regular blue jean colors too. Switch it up a little bit for y'all. This is the black distress jean. Uh, straight from, uh, where I get these pants from? American Eagle, man. American Eagle got some good. They got the good flex jean, you know what I'm saying? For the bigger dudes, you don't want your junk skinny, but you still want to be tapered. Get them flex guy, you feel me? Anyway, let's show them with the jeans on. Yeah, man. Denim on, the regular denim on with these guys in the blue. You feel me? Very dope in my humble opinion. I like the way they look with the jeans, man. Very, very, very dope. I actually think they look better with these jeans than they do with the uh, black. Just my opinion, man. Come walk away. Walk away with my opinion. Yeah. Um, let me do a little swerve walk on the way back. Just a little swerve. A little swerve. You know what I'm talking about? And post up. You feel me? <laughs> swerve and post up. You feel me? There we go. So, y'all comment below. Like I said, they released this weekend one of the best Jordan 1s. Especially as far as when it comes to execution, in my humble opinion, uh, this year. So many joint ones to release, man. Can't get them all, but I would like to cop the best ones. And this is one of the best ones to me. You feel me? Let's go ahead and get a quick round view so we can let me get that shadow out of the way. Round view so we can take this in the house, man. You know what I'm talking about? I got this shadow action going on. Y'all see that? It's all good. Yes, uh, these are cleansed in my most humble opinion, man. Yes, uh. That was the Air Jordan 1. Dropping them. Rookie of the year. Uh, what y'all think, man? Comment below and tell me what y'all think. Y'all going after them. Y'all sleeping. Y'all waiting on Concords. Is Concord the only, in your opinion, is Concord the only sneaker worth copying for the rest of the year? Comment below. Um, I think there's a couple more sneakers coming out. This 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 holiday season kind of weak though. I ain't gonna lie from what I'm looking at, man. Unless they come up with some, unless they come out with some surprise drops, the holiday season this year looking kind of weak, man. Uh, 
you know, compared to past years or whatever. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this review and on feet. Y'all comment below and tell me if y'all want to see more on feet. Um, hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon. On them, you feel me? And keep watching my video, because that's what I'm here for. Gone.